All right, what's up, everybody? It's Mott's Cage Radio on the line with my man, Bad Brad McDonald, who uh, sports a professional record of 6-1. and one. Now, I've been a big fan of this guy since day one when I met him cage side, and he was wearing his belt. And I asked him, where'd he get that belt? And he told me he ordered that shit out of a catalog and said, nah, I'm just kidding and whatnot. <laughs> so, I don't know, were you uh, 16 or 17 then? Like, r right about there. Uh, I just turned 16. Yeah, so... Uh, Basically, I've been following your brothers and whatnot. I've seen them fight. And then I got to see you fight at Gladiator Challenge. I didn't even realize you had to be 18 in order to fight uh, a California State Athletic Commission show. So that's what we got coming up. This will be your first California State sanctioned fight um, against Jesse Bowen, May 6th, yeah. out at the Tachi Palace. Bro, I'm pretty fired up. I know that all your fans are fired up. Take me through it, my man. How's your training camp been going? Training camp's going good. Um, I already started my eight-week peak. Uh, eating good, training good, uh, super hard. Working a lot on my wrestling with my uh, wrestling coach, Jordan Keckler. And uh, so, hey, hold on one sec. Absolutely. Hello? It's Jesse Bowen. <laughs> dude, I can't go easy on you May 6th, dude. No, dude, I'm, I know you want to fight Clarsic. I know that. Uh, I just got to handle my business, dude. I, I, dude, can I call you back? I'm doing an interview with Cage Radio. No, they're sponsoring me for this fight, dog. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. snap. Training. He just let the Training. cat out of the bag. Yeah, just let the cat out of the bag. Now, Jesse Bowen's going to be fucking looking for me and whatnot. But uh, I'm not going to sit here and lie and tell you that I'm not picking you in this fight, bro. I'm just going to come out and say it right now. I've seen you fight. I know what the kicks are all about. I know Jesse Bone is a gamer, but, like, let's be serious. It's time for Bad Brad to make his mark, huh? Yeah, that, that's what I definitely feel. I mean, I'm just getting into the palace, and I already feel it's, it's make or break. You know, it, either I make a statement or I'm going home with my head down. So, you know, and um, it's I'm definitely working, man. I'm, I've never worked this hard before. I want this more than anything. He's been on my mind for, like, Six months, man. Right. I, I want this fight more than anything. Right. Okay. And, uh, you know. Now I just I, I just saw you fight at the uh, Gladiator Challenge. You just disposed of. I, I think his name was Tom Bishop. I just put the video up there. Just with a quickness, my man. I was like, why even come out for some bullshit like that, <laughs> man? Like it was twenty five seconds. You still look like you were like looking around the crowd. Like any of you other cats want to come up in here? Like you were unsatisfied. Like you didn't get enough to eat that day, but. uh you know, take me through that fight. What what one? What, what was that like? I I dug that uh, location, Saboba. I'm sure you did. Yeah, yeah. It was a really nice location. You know, the the venue was outstanding, and uh, I went in there. He wanted to throw down with me and brawl. So I mean, hey man, if you want brawl, let's brawl. I'm I'm here all day to stand toe to toe, and most of my opponents haven't done that. You know, they I fought six wrestlers, and I've never fought a stand up guy before. And he just wanted to throw, so you know I mean I, I threw, and uh, you know a lot of people were like, "That is the stupidest game plan. Why would you do that?" But hey, man, you know if people want to come at me and try to swing, man, I'm I'm gonna swing. Right. You know I I hit hard and I kick hard, so if you want to come and bang with me, please do. I'll be willing to and give everybody what they came for. Okay. But, uh, All right, fantastic. Now uh, May sixth, uh, Jesse Bowen. I mean, he's got some experience as well. Uh, so do you, for that matter. Jesse Bowen's fought out at the Tachi Palace. He's fought at a, a bunch of different locations. You primarily at uh, Gladiator Challenge. Um, what do you think about this fight? Does it get out of the first round? Um, I, I honestly don't even know, man. I, I just know it's going to be a crazy fight. I know I'm going in there banging. You know, I, I got to fight smart, though. You know what I mean? I, I'm not losing no more. You know I mean, I had one split decision loss, which was crap, and uh, I'm done, man. I, I came way too far to come, especially to Tachi Palace, and I'm not losing this fight. I don't care what nobody says. I don't care if the whole world said that. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lose this fight. I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to go in there and have my business, go home with the victory, because I know when I lose, man, it's a ooh, bad night for me, man. I'm pissed off until I get another fight, so I'm not losing this fight. You know what I mean? Um, you know, the biggest paycheck for me so far. 
and uh, I can't see myself losing, man. I, I, I'm training hard. My brothers are pushing me like no other, you know, and uh, I got a great training partners, great training camp. There's no reason why I shouldn't go in there and win this fight. But Jesse Bona is a, is a really tough guy. I mean, he, he's, he's a gamer, you know what I mean? And so am I. So this is just going to be an exciting match, man. I can't wait. It's going to be unbelievable. I say fight of the night, man. It's, it's going to be crazy, that crazy. I, I totally agree. Now, I, would, I wouldn't doubt that at all. Now, uh, I guess you guys were at a, a grappling match this weekend because uh, Phil DePayne Collins snapped a photo of the two of you guys chatting <laughs> it up. So, uh, obviously, you guys are uh, are uh, friendly towards one another. I mean, you have respect for one another. I know you and your camp have respect for pretty much everybody. Like, that's your whole your deal. I get that. But... Uh, me, as a guy that doesn't fight, I pretty much have to dislike that person to want to hurt him. I, I just I can't figure out how you guys can just be friendly and beat the shit out of one another. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something I started recently. I mean, I used to be like um, like two fights ago. I saw the guy, and I was like, dude, you better get this guy away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sock him, dude. I'm that pissed off. And, um, you know, I just went, out, I went in there with an angry, angry... Um, angry mindset you know what I mean and I figured out that's not the way to go that you make too many mistakes you know you're not fighting smart you know it's just like you know far away eight weeks out hey man it's cool we're gonna be banging on each other that's that's cool you know what I mean that's right. cool I can come up and talk but when it comes close man I, I, I want to kill you know what I mean that's that's all I want to do like at weigh-ins when I don't eat um don't say anything so I will punch you you know what I mean don't no, what? don't that's one thing that I'm going to tell you. It is notorious for Jesse Bowen to do the head all up in on your head and the and the pumpkin and all that kind of shit. Jesse Bowen entertains me every single way in. So I'm like, oh, snap. Yeah, I was actually talking to him about that. I was like, hey, man, you know, whatever you want to do, but just know I'm, I get pissed off it because I didn't eat. He's like, hey, man, I was worried about you that you were going to do that. I was like, it's whatever, dude, so... If you want to do that, I, I, you know, it's not going to get in my head, but, okay. and I know he's it's, it's the same way, you know, so I was like, hey, man, let's just go to the fight and do whatever we do. Whatever happens, let it happen. All so, right. no, we, we're really cool with each other. He's a, he's a cool guy, so I'm, I'm glad I get to showcase my first fight against uh, him, so. All right, fantastic. Well, obviously, it's going down May 6th. Uh, your camp's going well. Everybody, I've seen it on Facebook. I mean, we're eight weeks out. People are like, oh, I can't wait for this fight. I can't wait for this fight. And they're really, bro, there's not a lot of uh, fights around in the Valley that people are talking about it. And this is definitely one. So as the as the weeks start to cut away, uh, really, really looking forward to this one. I um, want to give you this opportunity before I let you go. Shout out anybody you want, my man. All right, I want to shout out to my last stand fight team. You know, we got to thank them for everything. Got to thank my professor, Tom. Jordan Keckler, my two brothers, Michael McDonald's fighting in uh, two weeks for the UFC, Washington, Seattle. So good luck to him. I know he's going to do great. I don't know. Uh, he doesn't need the good luck, but hey, man, he's there anyway for the taking. Uh, I want to thank Mott's Cage Radio for always hooking it up. I want to thank King Deuce. Yeah. My main sponsor. And, uh, Thank everybody that's going to help me prepare for this fight. I want to thank Jesse for taking this fight and his camp. Thanks. It's going to be a great fight. I'm ready to do it. I hope you are too. Let's get it, baby. Ugh! Yeah, this is going to be sick, my man. Well, I appreciate you taking time with Cage Radio, and I'll keep checking in with you as we get closer to the fight. Thanks again, my man. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mots. All right, brother. Take care.